So you have started your business and you've decided to register for VAT and now you are starting to get confused because you don't know what VAT rate to apply to your sales of your products or your services. And it's not something that you want to get wrong for yourself or even for your customers. As you are probably aware already, we have a couple of different VAT rates in Ireland. We have the standard rate of 23%, we have a reduced rate of 13.5%, we have a second reduced rate of 9% and we also have a 0% rate and some businesses which are completely exempt from VAT. In this video I'm going to take you through a couple of different examples of what fall under each category and after that if you are still confused about what VAT rate you should be charging for your own business I will show you a database where you can go and get some very specific guidance that can help you make your decision. So when you are trying to go about charging the correct VAT rate there's a couple of different areas that might cause a bit of confusion. Firstly, if you have multiple different products or services that you offer. Secondly, you may have customers that are based in Ireland. You may have customers who are businesses. You may have customers who are based in the EU. You may have customers that are based outside of the EU. And how all of that impacts the VAT rate that you should be charging. And lastly, you may be questioning yourself on whether your business needs to be registered for VAT at all at this point. So we'll cover each of these in this video. So does your business actually need to be registered for VAT? Well, you do not have to actually register for VAT until you are expected to breach any of these thresholds. So if you're supplying goods, that threshold is 75,000 in turnover. Um, for the supply of services, it's 37,500. And if you are making acquisitions from other EU member states, then that threshold is reduced to 41,000 euro. But just to be clear, if you're not up to these thresholds, you still have the option of voluntarily registering yourself. There may be some reasons for doing that, particularly cash flow reasons. If your business is in a situation where it has a lot more outgoings and incomings right now, that would mean that you're gonna be paying a lot more VAT on your purchases and less so on your VAT on your sales, so you would be in a net refundable position with the revenue commissioner. So therefore, by registering for VAT, you'll be able to actually recoup these refunds every time you do your VAT return. So that can be quite good from a cash flow point of view when your business is just starting. The standard catch-all rate of VAT in Ireland right now is 23%, um, and that applies to the vast majority of products and services. So the likes of your alcohol, computers, cosmetics, fridges, furniture, jewellery, hardware, toys, tools, bottled water, washing machines. So the vast majority of items will fall under this category. Then we have a reduced rate of 13.5%. So this will apply for coal, heating oil, vet fees, building and building services, agricultural contracting services, short term car hire, cleaning and maintenance services to name but a few. We have a temporary further second reduced rate of 9% that currently applies to gas and electricity and also the hospitality and tourism sector but this is penciled in to end at the end of October this year but it could potentially be extended further on in the next budget. And then lastly we have a 0% rate which applies to lots of basic needs such as your foods like your, your bread and milk and tea and coffee and and then our, our books for educational needs and then children's clothes and shoes are another one that have a 0% rate of that. Um, you also have newspapers, fertilizers, large animal feed and some disability aids as well. As I mentioned earlier as well, there are some businesses which are completely exempt from VAT and these include insurance, child protection and child care, um, certain betting activities, lotteries, hospital care and treatment and public postal services. Um, so that would mean that they don't charge any VAT on their sales, but they're also not entitled to actually recoup any VAT on their purchases. So what should you be doing if you're selling to somebody who is outside of Ireland? Well, if you're selling to a customer outside of Ireland, you can charge 0% VAT on that invoice. But bear in mind that customer may have to pay VAT and customs in their home country. So in the vast majority of cases, you can zero rate your exports. You'll probably notice if you've already registered for VAT, but one of the questions that they normally ask you when you register is um, how you can actually prove that the goods that you are supplying actually leave the country. So you need to keep some sort of proof for any customers that you have that's outside of Ireland. You need to keep some sort of documentation that proves that the goods actually went where they were intended to go. So it's vital that you actually keep I suppose proper documentation and copies of everything for that. So for example, if you run an e-commerce business and use on post as your method of transportation, you should obtain certificates of posting which they should be able to provide you with. So at this point of the video, if you still remain completely unsure what VAT rate should be 
added to your sales of your products or your services i'm going to show you revenues database which can give you a lot more specific guidance on individual products and services so here is revenues vat rates database as you can see here they have a bit of a browser here where you can um search for any product or service that you sell and they also have it broken down here alphabetically so for example if i just select uh, g here I can have a look here at um say galvanizing it gets very specific um gardening cutting hedges gardening cutting lawns garden tools gates gherkins glass antiques glasses for spectacles um glass supply you have goldsmiths gold sovereigns so for any of these if they apply to you you can just like click on the link here and it will tell you um exactly what rate you should be applying so they'll have the standard rate here for glasses or anybody who's selling spectacles it's uh 23 percent so this database is definitely worth checking out if you are still a little bit confused and i think that's pretty much it for the video today and everything i wanted to cover on this topic if you have any further questions or anything else on this topic that you want to see me cover please let me know down in the comment section and if you find this kind of content useful then please make sure and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel